Coming up on today's Sun and Fun edition of Airborne Unlimited, Piper partners with Delta Hawk on Diesel Seminole, Yonkers A50 Heritage debut, CKD Aerospace has big plans for Fisher flying products. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to a special edition of Airborne Unlimited, bringing you all the latest from Sun and Fun at a very windy day at Lakeland Linder International Airport. Today's episode is presented by Piper Aircraft and their newest release, the M700 Fury. Today we're presenting a number of highlights from our second annual Sun and Fun Innovation Preview this morning. First up, Piper partners with Delta Hawk on Diesel Seminole. The big announcement of the 2024 Sun and Fun Innovation Preview, Piper is working alongside the Delta Hawk diesel folks on what could eventually show up as a Diesel Piper PA44 Seminole, which would be a very fuel thrifty airplane. Good morning, I'm Christopher Rood, CEO of Delta Hawk Engines. I'm here today to talk about uh, some exciting opportunities and some exciting innovations that Delta Hawk's been able to achieve over time. I'd like to announce that we are expanding our FAA certified DHK 180 jet fueled uh, engines. The FAA's first clean sheet of paper engine, piston engine that's been certified in over 50 years. And we're in the process of expanding that to both 200 and 235 horsepower outputs above and beyond the 180 that is already certified. We are working on the amendment and that expansion as we speak, but in the process we've had a very good commercial success in a lot of different airframe customers as well as pilots. We also have announced the innovation of the adaptation of our engine to be powered by hydrogen and look forward for some of the customers that we're in the process of working on that with uh, in, in the future. We have one more announcement for today. Above and beyond the experimental aircraft that we've mentioned that we have firewall forward kits for, uh, as we speak today, Delta Hawk and Piper are announcing a joint partnership for offering a jet fuel option with a PA-44 multi-engine aircraft. Coming up after the break, Flight announces their latest upgrades. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name, an indomitable force. With performance surpassing its predecessor, the M700 Fury has 20% shorter takeoff and landing distances, a 30% improved climb rate of over 2,000 feet per minute, and reaches a maximum cruise speed of over 300 knots. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy. Why take the risk of guessing the height on takeoff and landing when Sky Voice Alert 500 gives you audible callouts from 1 foot to 500 feet up and down? Sky Voice Alert 500 is the only FAA approved takeoff and landing height announcer, and it also gives you reminders and warnings on gear, flaps, and more. Quick and easy install, Bluetooth or wired. Get yours today at holymicro.com and receive a $300 discount at Sun and Fun, booth D54. Welcome back to Lakeland Linder International Airport. Four Flight announces their latest upgrades. In addition to their usual list of a bazillion or so new upgrades, Four Flight is pushing tech limits with a new product called Four Flight Voyager. 
We were very excited when uh, Apple announced the Vision Pro recently, and we, we got together and started thinking about how we can utilize our 3D uh, capabilities in the context of augmented reality. And our engineers and designers came up with a new product, which we're excited to announce as ForeFlight Voyager. ForeFlight Vo Voyager is available now on the Apple Vision Pro uh, App Store. And the ForeFlight Voyager application essentially takes any airport that's, uh, that's available in ForeFlight uh, can be projected into a real 3D space. Um, you can see accurate terrain, satellite imagery, information on the airport, and uh, crucially, live traffic. So you can see live streaming traffic uh, directly uh, in augmented reality. It's fully interactive, so you can uh, zoom in, move around the airport, enter different airports. Um, and in the latest version of the Voyager, the ForeFlight Voyager application, uh, we've included live air traffic control. So again, this is live when this is recorded. This is uh, all in augmented reality, look, uh, looking at Atlanta, tuned into Tower. We think uh, augmented reality has huge, huge potential in general aviation, and we think it's going to really improve safety and efficiency for general aviation. So if you're interested in learning more, uh, stop by our booth in Hangar C, or you can check out forflight.com slash Voyager, or scan the QR code here uh, to sign up for updates and media releases on Voyager. CKRA USA brings sport helos to America. Keith Barr, President and CEO, introduced the Sun and Fun Innovation Preview Press audience to the Seek Array 8, as well as other models coming to the U.S., courtesy of a brilliant design team that has impressed us for years. Better yet, the Seek Array line is debuting some truly inspired safety features for their sport helicopters. Uh, Sicari SA um, is an Argentina company, and for those of you who are, might be fam not be familiar, it's been around for about 60 years. Recently, uh, we opened U.S. operations to provide support for North and Central America. Um, North America being the largest aviation market in the world, a uh, little amazed that they weren't uh, already in this market. It's a great place to fly, uh, in, obviously. Located in Reno, we have a, a lot more scenic uh, terrain than a lot of places. Uh, but our objective there was to build uh, an assist program for customers, provide uh, tail, uh, sales and technical support, um, and develop training partners uh, in the U.S. as well. Another item that uh, we've focused on, we have our uh, uh, Sicari 8 over in the Light Plain uh, Paradise City area at uh, booth 57 there, LP57. Um, it already has this camera system installed on it, and this is a, essentially what you see on a modern car. It came from manufacturing, so you know these components are very lightweight, very reliable, and uh, so we have four cameras on the ship that actually show a live picture of the video uh, while you're uh, coming in to land uh, in a landing zone. Gives you the ability to make sure the tail's clear and the main rotor's clear. Uh, that'll eventually include um, uh, sensor warnings, just like the bumpers in your car do today. Uh, these sensors are also uh, lightweight and available, and uh, again, promoting safety. So if people are, you know, are thinking about other things, that they have the opportunity to solve those issues. Vita Razzi, the little engines that power sport flying. An international player well known in the powered paraglider game, Viterazzi introduced themselves to the U.S. market while also debuting the new Cosmos 300, a two-stroke engine completely dedicated to ultralight aviation with fully integrated EFI. The main reason for which we are here today is to introduce to you a groundbreaking innovation into the micro-light aviation, the Cosmos EFI engine. The EFI is a real milestone uh, for Vitorazzi, um, the real proof of the revolutionary and pioneer soul of the company, which dared to innovate so bravely to the benefit of paramotors, Delta, Trike, and Microlights pilots. A careful and focused approach, creating an unprecedented and innovative technology with super performances. The Cosmos EFI set another milestone. It's a two-stroke engine completely dedicated to the ultralight aviation with a fully integrated EFI unit, a twin spark plug system, liquid cooling, centrifugal clutch, countershaft, all in one, and the revolutionary plug and play system for a unique excellence in its category. In a nutshell, the features that define the EFI technology 
It's a completely in-house developed solution meant for two-stroke engines, therefore compact, fully integrated, and vibration-resistant system. It's an unprecedented performance with maximum comfort, reduced vibrations, smooth gain speed, with a single start-stop button, safety start system that shut down the power in emergencies. It comes with a warranty of two years, 150 hours, and a fuel efficiency that runs from 15% up to 30% compared to other solutions, reliability and durability, and I, it's an I, I quality product. EarthX powers up GA. EarthX told the Sun and Fun Innovation Preview crowd that they were the first company in the world to achieve FAA TSO approval in both 12 volt and 24 volt main ship batteries. With competitive weights, power ratings, and some serious cranking power, EarthX is making great strides in the highly competitive battery market. Hello, Reg Nicholson with EarthX Lithium Batteries. Last year, EarthX celebrated its 10th anniversary in the aviation market space. Most of our customers are familiar with us due to our experimental aircraft batteries. But in recent years, we've been uh, focusing on the certified GA market. So we have a couple of uh, batteries now on the uh, certified market. We have a 12 volt and a 24 volt battery. These cover about 80% of the marketplace. We get this question all the time, why the interest in lithium batteries for aircraft? I mean, the obvious is weight. Weight savings is huge. That's why a lot of customers initially are interested in a lithium battery. But besides the weight, they have incredible cranking power and they generally can last you know, two to three times longer than what's currently available in lead acid batteries. Our focus in the last uh, year has been on STCs. We are working on SEC for most popular 12 volt and 24 volt aircraft out there in the marketplace. Here's a list of some of them that we've received recently. We've got a bunch of Pipers, Cessnas, and uh, Carbon Cubs. All right, this year, exciting year, we have a couple of new battery products available. We have a lightweight 8 amp hour backup battery. Uh, meet your like 30 minutes uh, rule for backing up avionics and whatnot. It is 24 volt, but we also are introducing a turbine start battery. So it's a monster of a battery. It's 1200 cranking amp. It'll start a turbine engine. Those two batteries are available for the experimental market today. And we've been working on the TSO certification. We expect to have that TSO certification by the end of this year. Yonkers A50 Heritage debut. Not content to produce a classic aircraft with an inline engine, Yonkers has updated, or backdated for that matter, the A50 platform with an honest to goodness radial engine. And the results are gorgeous in both sight and sound. My name is Marshall Hagland. I'm the marketing manager for Demor Group, which includes the brands of Waco Aircraft and Yonkers Aircraft. Today and tomorrow, we stand at a landmark moment in aviation history. In 2023, we unveiled the Junkers A50 Junior. In 24, we're going to unveil the Junkers A50 Heritage. Last year, our journey of reviving the A50 Junior did not come without its challenges. To incorporate the modern economical Rotax power plant, significant artistic license was taken in redesigning the nose and the engine cowling areas, a departure from the architect's original form. However, the A50 Heritage corrects this, paying homage to Hugo Junker's original design ethos. With the A50 Heritage, we've meticulously reimagined the past from the scarlet seven uniform radial engine and its unmistakable rumble to the gracefully curved split glass windscreen. In addition, you'll notice the landing gear strut fairings, the authentic two-piece windscreen, and the analog instrument cluster meticulously reinstated. It's not just about the aesthetics, 
It's about experiencing flight as it was in the pioneering days of aviation, a pure, unfiltered flying experience. The Junkers A50 Heritage stands as a beacon to our commitment to the past and our faith in the future of aviation. It symbolizes our respect for tradition and our passion for innovation. And after these messages, CKD Aerospace has big plans for Fisher Flying Products. I grew up in an aviation family. My dad flew airplanes and flew air shows actually, so ever since I was three years old, the only thing I've ever wanted to do was be an air show pilot. It's cliche, but I get to live my dream every single day. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, the new aerobatic propeller. It's increased the performance of the airplane. It's made the harmonics balance throughout the airplane so much better. By far the best aerobatic propeller that I've ever flown behind. Welcome back. CKD Aerospace has big plans for Fisher Flying Products. CKD Aerospace has taken over Fisher Flying Products and is making big changes to the highly regarded sport plane line. New products, new services, new engines. CKD had a lot to discuss. So I'm Richard Kazmarek with CKD Aerospace and CKD Aero. Uh, CKD Aerospace is based out of Sandersville, Georgia. We are the owners now of Fisher Flying Products, and we are an advanced uh, company. We are worldwide, so we're actually an international company. We, at this time, we're in uh, production in five different continents and eight different locations. Our goal at this time is we're bringing Fisher Flying Products back to the market. Uh, with Fisher Flying Products, that for most people who know, Fisher's been around for over 40 years. Uh, Mike Fisher designed some beautiful aircraft all built in Sucka Spruce, nature's composite. Unfortunately, nature's composite has been used up. We cannot buy quality spruce that we used to be able to purchase. Fisher's goal is now to bring the Fisher product line into the modern age, make it so that it is still affordable for the builder to build, easy for us to manufacture, but yet move it forward. So we're working to bring the aircraft into the steel tube and fabric type uh, construction as well as composites. As of this year, we have partnered with Kite Magnetics out of Australia and we will be designing and building the airplane we call the E-Hawk. Our design goals on the E-Hawk is a battery powered aircraft with a two hour flight duration on battery power. So on the screen now is the picture of the Dakota Hawk, the most popular design that we offer. Uh, so we will have the Carbon Hawk and a four-seater within the next 18 months. We also have the Archon. The Archon went from proof of concept and is now heading into manufacturing. It showed up first time at Oshkosh two years ago. The original design was single place, flew on a Rotax 503. The new design now is two place and flies on a 100 horse, with, in our case, the Zonson engine. Uh, but for those that are not ready to try out Zonson, they'll have the option to be able to use the uh, Rotax 912. And that wraps up our first day at Sun and Fun 2024 at Lakeland Linder International Airport. See you back here tomorrow for more news.